Right, give me one second, I'll be back. Right, that's better. Hey guys, I did my best to match the colors of Arduino boards. We are talking about Arduino boards because, well, they have a Black Friday event, which means you'll be able to get the best Arduino board for much less. So today we're going to take a look at what's on sale and uh, I'll show you which board you should probably get started with uh, to um, take on an electronics project. And I'll also show you a couple of interesting projects for each board. It's not an Arduino event unless Arduino Uno is involved. And yes, you can get Arduino Uno, the most popular and one of the oldest Arduino boards uh, available on Arduino Store. This 80 mega 328p based board comes with 14 pins, 6 with PWM signal and 6 analog signal for your pleasures. So you could, well, start or take on any project you like. And it's not just one UNO, there are actually two UNOs that are on sale. There is R3 revision, which is 80 mega 328p based board as well as the SMD version of the same board. So if you're getting started, get the socketed version because well, it's always nice to have an option to replace your IC just in case things go wrong. Both boards are on offer right now with the socketed version being slightly more expensive at 17 euros and the SMD version at 15 euros 20. Other than SMD components, the boards are identical offering 14 uh, pins with six digital PWM signal pins and six analog pins for your projects. As the board has been on the market for such a long time, it comes with lots of different shields and add-ons that you can actually purchase to expand the functionality of the board even further. Considering that it's been years, even I got my hands on a board like this before and I've built a photogrammetry set, which, well, I'm going to use in this video. So if you're interested, I'm gonna link it in the description of this video. But let's take a look online and see what other inspirational projects are available for this board. If you are just getting started and building your own alarm clock is probably one of the best ways to get into electronics and this project covers that. However, if you're looking for more advanced challenge then someone actually built a small CNC machine using Arduino Uno. So take a look at that if you're interested. I'm gonna list all of them in the description of this video. Moving to the next board, we've got this and this is Arduino Duo, which is two. Now, I actually never had this board in my hands, but uh, if you are constrained by Arduino Uno and you need some more pins to drive or well, array of sensors, displays and whatnot, then this board is probably what you're looking for. Apart from 54 pins, uh, of which 12 provide uh, PWM output and 12 uh, analog input pins. You also get two analog output pins with a DAC on board and clock speed of 84 megahertz. Just bear in mind that this is based on Atmel SAM 3X8E, which means it has 3.3 volt logic, unlike most of Arduino devices, which have 5 volt logic. So if you're looking to add more sensors and peripherals to it, bear that in mind. And the board joins Black Friday sales with a price of 29.75. So let's take a look online and search for some interesting projects. If you want to make your own VR headset, you can actually use this board to make one as this project in here. But if that's not your thing, then you can take a look at the dual weather station monitoring at the temperature inside and outside and displaying that on the screen, or alternatively, build your own waveform generator. Next board in Arduino Black Friday even lineup is Arduino Mega, and it's an excellent board and very popular among men makers for a couple of reasons. First of all, it uses 80 mega 2560 to manage all 54 GPL pins, just like a duo. I like duo board, it does use the 5 volt logic, so you will be able to take advantage of a couple of things. First of all, it's compatible with Arduino Uno shields and add-ons, so you can just pop them on top of the board and take advantage of extra features that will add to your project. 
if that isn't enough obviously you can take advantage of the 54 pins 15 of them are actually PWM uh, signals and 16 of them uh, have ability to process analog inputs that's quite impressive the board is going to be on sale for 29.75 as well so let's take a look at some interesting projects that you can make out of it one of the best use cases, probably pinball machine with a lot of inputs and outputs needed to uh, drive a project like this. But if that's not impressive enough, someone made a car factory out of the single board. Okay, it's a Lego car factory, but it's still quite impressive and it looks cool. But, and once you've made a and once you've made your own car, you can also build a smart garage, which uses Arduino Mega as a basis to monitor all the three garages and provide some interesting features. Next up is Arduino Nano, which on Black Friday event is going to be available for 15 euros and 30 cents. This is one of the most popular boards when it comes to portable uh, projects or projects required battery because it provides you with all the pins that you probably need for a small project plus it has excellent power consumption statistics and it's just a great board to get your project off the ground. With 22 pins available to you, six of them having PWM signal and eight of them being analog, well there is nothing stopping you to jump on interesting projects. And what sort of interesting projects? Well for example a Nerf turret. I don't think uh, Nerf and turrets need to be explained, but if you want to get one for yourself, then consider using Nano. Another example that showcases excellent portability of a Nano is this wearable device that uses Neopixel Circle uh, LED ring to display your heart rate. Lastly, a project that is more up my street because I love coffee and who wouldn't like to have a smart coffee machine? This one is using Nano too. The last board in this lineup is Arduino Micro. Slightly bigger than a Nano offers a big advantage because actually it uses USB interface. Why would you use a USB interface? If you search for projects using Micro, you'll quickly discover that a lot of people using these to emulate USB devices. That means extra controllers, some fancy keyboards, etc, etc. This board is 80 mega 32U4 based and it uh, gives you 20 uh, input output pins for your projects. Seven of them have PWM channels and 12 of them can be used as analog input pins. So if you fancy making a custom keyboard or controller yourself, you can get this for the similar price of 15 euros and 30 cents. Now onto the, the projects from online. This impressive set of uh, airplane controls is excellent example of what you can achieve with this board if you're into flight simulators. But if you're not, then you can create an RFID lock for your Windows computer, allowing you to log in and log out using RFID cards. And if that's not enough, you can use a very similar concept to actually start a motorcycle. In this project, RFID is actually embedded under the skin, allowing the owner of the motorcycle to start the motorcycle with a proximity of his hand. It's pretty cool. I would like to thank Arduino for sending me the boards so I could talk about them and awesome socks. Uh, so if you're interested, then uh, click on the video description. You'll find a link that will take you straight to Arduino website for the Black Friday event. So guys, you know, I do not have a posting schedule. So if you want to know what next, then you know how YouTube works and how to use it. I'm not going to teach you that. I do have a bunch of social media accounts that you can use to interact with me and let me know. Leaving comments in a YouTube uh, video, well, if they contain links, they're often being filtered out and I cannot access them. So it's not much I can do about it. So if you have interesting links, connect uh, with me via social media. As for now, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Take care. Bye.